Okay, welcome to another Ginger Mathematician video where I'm going to go through the free paper on Revision Village. So it's completely free, you'll see the link in the description below. And it's one of the only examples out there of an IB standard level analysis and approaches past paper. So I'm going to start a walk through here. I'm going to go through questions one and two. And if it's popular, obviously I'll finish off the paper as well. So let's get started straight away. We are going to start with a Venn diagram question. A lot of these questions are very similar to the uh, old standard level paper, and this is a non-calculated paper, so do keep that in mind. So the following Venn diagram shows two events A and B, where the probability of A is equal to 0 0.3, so the entire circle. The probability of A and B, or the intersection of A and B, is 0 0.2, which is the middle part. And then the probability of a, a union B is equal to 0 0.7, which is all the circles together. And we need to work out the various different letters here, P, Q, R, and S. Well, this part here, the intersection, is equal to 0 0.2. So the middle is going to be 0 0.2. So that answers our first question there. Nice to get your first mark in a past paper. And then we want to find the value of P, so this one here. Well, we know the probability of the entire circle, the entire circle here, adds up to 0 0.3. So 0 0.2 plus something is 0 0.3. So this will need to be 0 0.1. So the whole circle is 0 0.3. Now to work out Q, we're told the intersection sorry, the union, sorry, is equal to 0 0.7, which means if I use a slightly different colour here, this entire set here is equal to 0 0.7. So we need to think 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2 plus something gives us 0 0.7. And a little calculation here will give us 0 0.4. You can check backwards. 0 0.4 plus 0 0.2 plus 0 0.1, well that's equal to 0 0.7. So this will be 0 0.4. And now we need to work out what's outside. Well, remember all probabilities add up to 1. So 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2 plus 0 0.4 is 0 0.7, the same as in the question. And what do we add to this to get to 1? Well, this will need to be 0 0.4. Three. So we pop that in. A nice easy four marks to start off with. And then to work out the probability of B, so in terms of our circle here, it's going to be this part of our Venn diagram. So we just add up the two numbers here. So 0 0.4 plus 0 0.2 is equal to 0 0.6. And we're done. And that's a very nice way to start an SL analysis paper and to grab seven marks from the off. Perfect. Okay, let's have a look then at, there's the answers there, answers there. Question two, so we've got a function question without a calculator and they are defined in the following table. So we're told what x is, and then what happens to x to give you the f function, and what happens to x to get the g function. And first of all, we need to write down the value of f2. So f2, well, when x is equal to 2, f of 2 is equal to 0. That's what this table means. So this stands for f of 2. Likewise, this one here, 3, stands for g of 2, okay, which is exactly how the table functions. So f of 2 will be equal to 0, just reading off the table. And now we need to work with a composite function, so I'm going to write that underneath. So now we need to work out g of f of 2. Now I'm going to write this in a more straightforward way of g, open brackets, f of 2. Now we just worked out what f of 2 was, that was from the previous question, that was 0. So instead of writing f of 2, we're going to write 0. 
And then we look at our table and go, ah, what is g of 0? Well, when x is 0, g of 0 is equal to minus 1. And that's going to be our answer. So this is equal to minus 1. And the slightly testing part of this question is find the value of g inverse of 5. So this is kind of working backwards to what we did. In these questions, we went, ah, when x is 2, we work out f of 2. In this case, we start with 5, so we look for 5 in our g row, which is here. And now we want to work out what it goes back to. So notice in this question, this is much less complicated than the mark scheme, g inverse of 5, all it's asking is, we start with 5 in our g function, what does it go back to for x? And as you can see, it goes back to minus 4. Okay, and we're done. Right, so this is the whistle-stop tour on the first two questions. Again, if you like this content, please like and please subscribe. It goes a long way to support the channel. And let me know if you want more IB stand level analysis content. Okay, we'll try this video out and see how we go. Right, bye bye for now.